Welcome to this episode of Monday Morning Joe. I'm Dr. Mark Gomez. Monday Morning Joe is a quick hitting coffee talk style four episode series on what you need to know about multi-cancer early detection or MSED tests. The goal of this segment is to provide you with information about cancer disparities and the potential for MSED tests in reducing them. In the last episode, we talked about implementing MSED testing in the primary care setting. Check it out if you haven't done so already. Before we begin, please remember to subscribe to the Exchange CME YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss new episodes when they drop. All right, let's get started. What do we know about the disparities associated with cancer screening? We know that cancer screening rates are lower in certain populations, and unsurprisingly, not all populations have benefited equally. Disparities in cancer screening result in disparities in cancer mortality across all populations, particularly in ethnic minority ones. However, modeling studies have shown that cancer detection at earlier stages reduces mortality regardless of ethnicity and sex. Therefore, large numbers of cancer deaths can be avoided by increasing screening. The cancer screening rates in the U.S. show significant disparities. There are low adherence rates among racial and ethnic minorities, uninsured, individuals with less than a high school diploma versus a college degree, and individuals living below the national poverty line. One study out of Montefiore Einstein Hospital System found that the most common reasons patients canceled or no show for colonoscopy in the Bronx were transportation, perceived need, time, unaware of a physician referral, medical mistrust, and fear. Let's discuss the patient level barriers to cancer screening and how to address them. Some key barriers to consider include socioeconomic status, beliefs and attitudes, and access to primary care. So how do we address them? Well, we provide materials and resources in multiple languages. We utilize motivational interviewing and we minimize medical mistrust. So what about provider level barriers and how to address them? Well, some of the key provider level barriers include knowledge of cancer screening guidelines, time constraints, cultural humility, and unconscious bias. So how do we address them? Well, we have conversations with all of our patients that are eligible for cancer screening, and we do not make assumptions about a patient's interest in their ability to undergo cancer screening. There are also institutional level barriers that need addressing. Some of these key barriers include segregation of cancer screening resources, reminder systems, interpreters, and even navigators, but most importantly, perceived trustworthiness. What can we do to overcome them? Well, we can have educational and free screenings. We can have patient navigators. And lastly, utilizing peer support, including cancer, screening companions. How can MSED tests impact cancer disparities? Well, blood-based MSED tests may mitigate racial and ethnic disparities if offered in combination with guideline-recommended screening modalities to detect aggressive tumors that are diagnosed in minorities at a higher rate than in the general population. But these same disparities can widen if MSED test adoption is lower in minority communities which can increase rather than reduce racial disparities in early cancer detection. And if MSAD positive patients don't have access to treatment and diagnostic workups, then these disparities will only increase. How accessible is MSAD testing? Well, it's currently only covered by few health and life insurance companies. The reality is that there is an out of pocket cost of $949, which can be HSA or FSA eligible. But what I like is the REACH initiative. It's Medicare and Grail partnering together to perform the gallery test and fellow diagnostic tests on 50,000 Medicare beneficiaries. And what is cool about this is that it's multi-cancer screening in underserved populations, including racial and ethnic minorities, as well as seniors from historically underserved regions. 
And I think that this could be a harbinger for future coverage on a wider scale by health insurance companies in this country. So here are some key take home points. Cancer screening disparities are significant with low adherence rates in racial and ethnic minorities, the uninsured, by educational level, and in individuals that live below the national poverty line. Strategies to reduce disparities include free community screening events, appropriate patient conversations and materials, and institutional programs that include multilingual navigators and screening companions. Thank you for joining me today. As discussed earlier, please check back for new episodes on the Exchange CME YouTube page. Clinicians, nurses, and pharmacists can also visit exchangecme.com for free access to CME and a variety of other therapeutic areas.